Hi. <laughs> My name is Laurent Garnier. Um, we're here at Pasha. You can see that. Uh, and I'm playing here tonight, so welcome. Welcome. My first professional gig as a DJ was September 1987. So it's going to be 25 years in September. Um, the idea of becoming a DJ is much older than that. I guess when I was 14 years old, so we must be back in 1980 or something like this. Maybe even younger than that, because uh, I think when I was 9, 10, I was um, asking my parents to come to my bedroom and dance. You know, I, I, I was switching off the lights and closing the curtains and, and I had like a, um, a disco ball and then I had a strobe and, so, and, and s some lights. What we know is now, you know, house and techno, the names we are using, we're still using now. Um, so that music has been going on for 25 years. It kind of grew up, it took a good 15 years to grow up, to become what it was, which was 10 years ago, global. Um, a lot of people were really involved in, you know, in it. And, and now it's completely exploded everywhere. Um, anywhere you go around the world, you can hear that kind of music. Um, you find DJs in the darkest corner of the earth, you know, playing on the ground music, which is quite exciting. Um, but the funny thing with the evolution is, I think people now, um, I guess they don't listen to music the same way as what we used to. They don't listen to music on, on the same machines as what we used to. Uh, the equipment has changed and sometimes, unfortunately, not for the better. Um, I know they can store more music in the machine they use now, but usually um, they, they, are, uh, they give more privilege to the, um, to the amount than to the content, if you know what I mean, you know, to the, to the quality of the music. I, I think usually a lot of the younger people today care more about having enough space to store X amount of music on their iPod or computer or whatever, and sometimes um, they are not care. They don't care anymore about the quality of the sound or or the actual content of the music. There's two computers which are linked together. Um, there's three, um, how do you say, remote controls with lots of little knobs and, and things you can twist and turn so we can generate uh, effects, uh, filters, whatever. And then uh, I have a keyboard which I play a little bit of stuff on that. And then uh, we have a couple of, um, um, you know, hardware uh, equipment uh, which generates sounds uh, and of course we're using quite a lot of software as well so this is all the live parts and all this goes into a mixer and that mixer goes into the DJ mixer so everything we do is mixed on the beats with the records so if you don't look at what's happening on stage, well, in a DJ booth um, as a punter, you, you could not really know if it's a record or a live track. I might start a new label. Uh, I don't know. 
we are gonna write a new chapter about the book, you know, the Electroshock book I did 10 years ago, because it's been 10 years, it's gonna be 10 years next year, we're gonna write a new chapter about what has been happening for the last 10 years, so I, I would say this would be another 40 or 50 new pages on the book, so we need to do that. Um, we are gonna start working on a new album, which I'm, I'm gonna work with Stefan. The idea is to have a new live show next year. Um, we are on the way maybe to produce a, a young uh, rapper in France. She's a bit crazy and she's got great lyrics, she's a bit mad and I think we're gonna make all the music for her. Uh, and then as well, behind, uh, besides that, uh, I'm gonna make the music for, the, for a new, uh, um, how can I say, choreographer? Well, for a new show from a choreographer I've worked with before. She's called Marie-Claude Pietragala. She's a very, very big uh, contemporary choreographer in France. And we are making, with Stefan, we're gonna make uh, all the music for the new show. So um, we have tons of things to do. My name is Laurent Garnier, this is it, so you can find me on pasha.com. Mm -hmm.